Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the conference and welcome to the advice corner. Okay, um, for tonight there may be someone out there with a question, um, particularly uh, maybe females. Um, the question being, what do you do if a sorry no count man that is a liar has gone around telling people that he has slept with you or had sexual relations with you when he has not. How do you handle and address that situation? Well, okay. Um, I believe this to be a common problem among women. Uh, dealing with uh, males that have... Uh, claim that they have had sex with them or some have even uh, stooped as low as to make up stories, uh, sexual stories, graphic uh, sexual stories. And um, I decided to address this uh, topic tonight because even I have been a victim of uh, that type of lying trash, okay? And um, I think a lot of women out there are suffering in silence and they just don't know how to deal with it. And oftentimes when you're dealing with those types of grimy males, they can um, severely af affect your, um, your, relate your current relationships or your potential relationships or your, even your marriages. You know, if you've got some idiot out there uh, spreading lies and rumors saying that they've had sexual relations uh, with you when they know they have not. They can't even describe your tale and want to uh, make other people think that they've had your tale. Okay, so that's what we're going to address tonight. How do you handle that type of garbage that has tried to defame your character? Well, ladies, first and foremost, I would say the first thing to do would be to uh, take it to Father God and uh, allow Him to convey to you what strategies to utilize. Um, against that um sometimes it may be father is going to handle it regardless okay so let's just um get that um out there first and foremost father god is going to handle it because father will not tolerate a liar he will not tolerate liars okay because he's the truth because god is the truth but also some of you may feel the need to speak out on your own behalf and you know uh, unless Father says otherwise, I feel you have every right to stand up for yourselves and uh, declare a liar to be a liar. Um, before I tell you how I feel about it, I want to bring to your attention an incident that I was faced with uh, many years ago um, in the workplace. There was a situation where um, someone uh, who I work with and uh, actually lived in the same town with... Um, had one day deliberately missed their ride so that um, they could catch a ride with me. So that was some type of a, a scheme or setup or whatever. And um, when I was about to walk to my vehicle, as I was walking to my vehicle, I saw the person, I don't know if they approached me or if they were lurking around my vehicle. I can't remember because it was so many years ago. But I knew that that person had deliberately missed their ride you know, so that they could try to, I guess, have some type of affiliation with me. And I really didn't want to give the person the ride, but I went on and did it because, you know, back then I was just a, a, a kind-hearted person, which I still am, but I'm a lot more um, cutthroat with people now, you know, because you have to be. Because if, you, if you're if you not, people will walk all over you and just do what, feel they can do whatever. And you can't do whatever with this right here. But anyway, so I ended up... Um, uh, driving the person to their home and dropping them off and that was that okay so then the next thing that I know um, the person that I had considered myself actually dating back then the person that I took home went and told that person that I had taken them home and then that I had said um, I was tired and that I allowed the person to drive my car and when the person that I had considered myself dating told me that, oh my gosh, of course, right away, I, I above anybody else would know that is a flat out lie. And I told that person, that is a lie, you know. And so that's the reason why, you know, you have to be careful. You know, even as believers, 
don't let your good be evil spoken of. Now, I was not a, um, I was a believer in Jesus Christ back then, but I was not a believer as far as I didn't have a relationship with him. I had a, um, knowledge of him and, uh, but I didn't have a relationship. But anyway, even now that I have a relationship with him, I can now utilize the scripture. Don't let your evil be, don't, don't let, excuse me, get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you guys attention because, you know, it's very important. You have to be very strategic. Uh, when dealing with the snake and what I was going to say, you know, it's very important that you, you know, just ver be very careful uh, in your dealings with a snake. And that person was definitely a snake. And it was definitely somebody that um, I believed had some type of liking towards me. But my thing is this, if a man or a dude likes me, the biggest way to run me off is to put a lie out on me. Because a lie is not going to draw me to you. A lie is going to draw, uh, make me run away from you. A lie is not going to make me want you. You know, a lie is going to make me feel repulsed by you. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times with the way that these men think, you know, these ungodly men, the way that they think is so twisted and backwards. Because they actually feel like, well, by them putting out a lie, that's going to make you be what the lie is and it's not you know so um anyway um as for the person that i was dating at the time i do believe that it is something that kind of rested in the back of their mind even though you know i know i was telling the truth i think it kind of rested in the back of their mind but you know of course i don't care about that because you know that person was out there doing everything they wanted to do anyway so i mean even though i know that person lied on me if the, if the person that I was involved with thought it was the truth, uh, why should I care? They were out there doing whatever they want to do. But anyway, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I have recently uh, been uh, faced with a situation where somebody had put out a lie to somebody that I was not dating and not involved with, nor has have ever been involved with. But the person, from what I understand, had put the lie out because they didn't want me to. They were afraid that I would be, uh, form a friendship with this person particular person so in order to prevent the friendship that they thought that this person and I were forming they had put out some type of a lie and from what I understand what they, it's not some type of a lie they put out a lie a flat-out lie and they were graphic about some type of sexual act or sexual deed and things of that nature and um, that caused the person that um, I was acquainted with they wanted that person to look at me in a different light because let's just face it, um, a lot of females out here are very promiscuous nowadays, okay? And, and there's no shame in their game. But I have to honestly say that when God created this right here, he broke the mold. I'm not promiscuous. I never have been, nor will I ever be. That lifestyle does not appeal to somebody like me, you know, because for one thing, I've never been man crazy, you know, and, and I've just never been like other females in that way. You know, I, I believe in courtship, I believe in dating and things of that nature, but as far as how some people are just so overly sexual and got to have it all the time and, you know, like they're doggish with it, I'm not a dog. You know, I'm not a dog. I believe that sex is something that's very um, sacred and I believe it should only be shared with somebody that you love and trust, okay? Now, that's just my beliefs. I'm not saying you all have to feel like I feel, but I'm telling you, I'm just sharing a little bit of my character to show the contrast uh, as it pertains to how somebody tried to paint my character. So that's the only reason why I'm sharing a little bit of who I am, even though I am a, I am an extremely private person. But when it comes down to protecting my reputation, I don't have a problem letting anybody know who I really am, okay? And um, blotting out a liar and a lie. So anyway, from what I understand, um, somebody had gone around and uh, told that lie. Well, you know, and I did address the issue a little bit but I wanted to address the issue uh, again tonight in this video or if it's morning now um, because I feel like a lot of females are dealing with that well first of all I believe that you have a right to have your voice heard I feel like you have a right to publicly deny uh, what that person is saying and to call that person a flat-out liar but also you cannot 
stand in the face of Satan apart from the word of God. So let's go to the word of God on um, the book of John um, chapter 8, beginning at verses 44 and 45. And let's see what Jesus Christ has to say about the devil, okay? Or people that have devilish behavior and characteristics. Um, ye are of your father, the devil. And the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. It takes the word of God to take down Satan, children, okay? It takes the word of God. If you don't utilize the word of father, which is your weapon of warfare, okay? Because your weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Then, you know, you're not going to win if you don't utilize the weapons that God has placed in your hands, okay? Because a lie is a stronghold. A lie seems to have a spirit to it. People gravitate toward lies because they are appealing. And the reason why lies are appealing is because it is the flesh part of the person that desires the lie. The spirit desires the truth. But the flesh part is the fallen part of man that desires to gravitate towards lies and to speak lies. Okay? So um, I would just say put the word on them. If somebody, uh, ladies, have been out there and these men have talked about, you know, they've had sex with you and you know you have not laid with that dog at all you wouldn't even think of laying with something like that put the word of god on him because it takes the word of god for a devil you understand what i'm saying and then you know you got a lot of these uh male these old grimy males out here talking about they've had sex with you they don't even know what your butt looks like they don't even know what it looks like they don't know what it feels like they don't know anything about you sexually but they'll put out a lie and see they do that because they want you to look like a whore when they know you're not, you know, they're the whore, you know. And then with a lot of these types that, well, with to me, all the types that put out lies on women like that. They look nasty. They look grimy. They look like they don't bathe. They don't look like they have anything going on in their lives. So you can imagine what their thing looks like. It's probably cricket with black dots on it. I mean, come on now. And it probably stinks. I know it does. So who would want to be with somebody like that? Running around talking about they've had sex with you and they know they have not and their thing stinks and they need to go wash it. And I'm just going to put it out there like that because you know what? If they were bold enough to tell a lie on you, then be bold enough to speak a truth about them with their stinking thing they don't even wash. And then a lot of the ones, I believe all the ones that go around spreading lies on women like that, go from woman to woman to woman and they probably don't even bathe in between sexual experiences that is nasty so for every woman that they go with they go up in her raw and then they go up in the next woman raw and then they go up in the next woman raw and because you're the one that they couldn't get you're the one that wouldn't lay with them now they want to go out and spread a lie but why because their ego is hurt because they're wounded you know because they they're all, they may be all of that to those to whores but they're not all of that to you, you know, and I can't stand those types of male, you know, because they don't know if you're, if you ladies are involved in, re, in a relationship with anybody or not. And they don't care. They don't care about how their lives may affect your relationships, your marriages. That's a piece of trash. That's a lying dog that is of their father, the devil, who is the father of lies. So as far as how uh, situations like that should be handled, I feel like you should always come up against a lie with the truth you know you don't have to bite your tongue unless father tells you hold your peace you have a right to speak your peace okay don't ever go against what father has ordered or commanded you to do but if you feel like father has given you the green light okay then you need to come up against that devil with the word of the living god because only the word of god can destroy the devil you understand what i'm saying because his whole objective is to make you look like somebody that you are not you know, and somebody had did that to me, you know, and, um, you know, sometimes 
it's it's almost like you don't really have to curse, rant, and rage and stuff like that, you know, when you hear certain lies about you. Because when you know who you are, sometimes it's, it's almost comical when you hear things about yourself. And you go, that is so stupid and that is so far from my character. You know, especially, you know, for you ladies, you know, you're not the types to sleep around and you know you are decent women and you know that you are... You know, you you might be relationship type girls, you know, and uh, when you hear a lie about yourself, but see, it, it can be comical sometimes. I'm not, I'm not going to say you won't get angry about it because nobody wants to be disrespected and have their reputation disrespected and uh, go through defamation of character. But there will be no defamation of character when you speak out against it and you utilize the word of the almighty God, because again, your weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and, um, I feel like that for the people that may hear of the lie, once they get to know you, they're not going to believe it anyway. And a lot of people just flat out, flat out aren't going to believe it anyway because they can look at you and tell, oh, we know that she's not that type of person. We could just look at her. We just know. You know, people are very intuitive. You know, there are a lot of people that uh, utilize their intuition that you wouldn't even think even have it, you know, but they could look at you and they may not may not ever tell you, but they'll say, you know what? I know daggone well when I heard that, that was a lie. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's basically how I would address that. I wouldn't, you know, a lot of people might go to the person and curse them out and do things like that. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you to do it or not to do it. I'm not going to tell you to curse somebody out. I'm not going to tell you not to. I'm just going to say, you know what? You do, do it the way Father says do it. Take it to Father and however he tells you to handle a piece of trash, a piece of uh, lying trash like that, that's how you handle it, okay? Because you don't ever want a lie to be put out like that and uh, have it uh, follow you and you don't come up against it, you know? And uh, I can say if you guys are like me for the longest time, you know, you could have been hearing all sorts of lies about yourself and you just never addressed it because you were like, well, I, well, I know who I am. I don't have to address that. But then sometimes I think that uh, people can... Uh, cross the line so far that you're like you know what okay i'm gonna address these devils because it's time that i stood up for myself and let these people know look you're not gonna say anything about me and get away with it and i don't say anything back to you and you're out there running your mouth as if you think i'm afraid of you because i you know i know i'm not afraid of anybody it's just that i don't have the energy and the time in my day to address every lie that is spoken about me throughout my life you know there have been many lies spoken about me that I have not addressed but you know I feel like my character can speak for itself and I first and foremost I know Father God is the one that fights my battles and that I don't have to you know because I've even had someone that um I used to um have an affiliation with a long time ago say oh well you know I've heard all sorts of uh the things about you or this that and the third and I just looked at the person I didn't even say anything because I'm like, well, whatever you heard is all lies, you know, because for one thing, when you know what type of a trash and, and what type of a trashy area that you were brought up in, you know, when you hear things, it doesn't surprise you because um, what the people are speaking about you is actually what they've done in their lives. And they're trying to project who they are onto you. And then they want to take your character and uh, place it on themselves to try to make themselves look good. You understand what I'm saying? They want to swap costumes. And I'm not going to allow that to happen ever, you know. And um, so anyway, um, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's, it's just that, that um, utilize the word of Father, you know, because um, only the word of God can take down a liar. Only God can take down a liar anyway, you know, no matter what you say. And then after you have uh, spoken out against a lie, don't worry about who does or does not believe the lie. That's not important. As long as you know that that piece of filth and that piece of trash out there that has said they have had sexual, rela sexual relations with you has never had their hands on you, don't worry about it. Because you know what? Most likely they put the lie out because they know they'll never put their hands on you and they want to, okay? So it's like, it's kind of the deal. It's kind of this type of deal. Um, what they spoke about is what they want to be about, but they will never, but it will never come about. Okay. It's kind of that type of deal. 
What they spoke about is what they want to be about, but it will never come about, okay? Because you would never wallow with a, with a filthy dog like that. And especially one that's going to spread a lie and say that they've been with you sexually when they know they have not. You know, I've got a um, message for those types of males. Um, not all women sleep around. And not all women want what's between your legs, okay? The only person that wants that filthy thing is somebody that's just as nasty as you, okay? And that's what I would say to those types of male, males that are like that, okay? So they can keep all that funk, that stank, and that odor to themselves or give it to some other female. Because I know that for the ones that put the lie out on me, I know that I have never touched that, and that has never touched me, nor will it ever, okay? And so, you know, and like I said, you've got to be bold with these demons out here. And that's one thing that I had to learn to do. You can't sugarcoat anything with people nowadays. You can't tiptoe through the tulips, you know. The devil is cutthroat. So, you know, hey, I guess it's a tip for tap type of deal. Now, don't run up on him by yourselves. Don't run up on him at all. You allow Father God to handle Satan, okay? Don't, you just stand out of the way. You only speak when Father God authorizes you to speak. And if there's something that you want to say, ask him, ask Father if it's okay for you to say. And if Father gives you the green light okay, then speak. And uh, some of you may say, well, how will I know if Father has given me the okay? Well, because you won't have a feeling of hesitation, okay? When Father doesn't mind if you speak out on something, you will have a certain relaxation within yourself. And you won't feel like, you won't feel hesitant, okay? That's how I feel, okay? So anyway, I hope that something that I've said has helped you ladies out there, okay? And God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.